Today we're going to make taquitos, because who doesn't like taquitos? And they're easy to make. Let's get into it. Alright, first step, you already guessed it, onions and garlic. We're going to finely chop it and toss it in the pan. In addition to garlic and onions, you could also use bell peppers, jalapenos, whatever you want, really. I'm just working with what I got. We got garlic everywhere, just the way I like it. We got one onion chopped, and we're using about four cloves of garlic. Now you can add less if you want, if you're a little weenie, but don't be like that, right? Go ahead and uh, add this to the pan, and once everything's nice and caramelized, we're going to add one pound of ground beef. All right, gang, let's get into it. Got my uh, sketchy little hot plate here. It's not even. Um, but we're making do, all right? Gonna add in our onions. It's a good idea to let your onions get a head start before you toss in the garlic because the garlic can burn faster than the onions. So once these bad boys are like a third of the way, garlic's going in, baby. The smell of onions and garlic, you honestly cannot beat it. And I really wonder if there was like a eureka moment where someone put the two together and was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Time for the beef. Whoa. All right, make sure you mash everything up really well. Uh, that'll make it easier to roll into the taquito. If it's clumpy, then you're going to be depressed. It'll mess up your libido. It's not a good situation. Now, as far as spices go, you can use any spices you want. That's the good thing about something like a taquito. You just throw a bunch of stuff in there, and it's usually pretty good. All right, spices. We're going to use a little less than a tablespoon of smoked paprika. It'll oh, get out there. And the same deal with some cumin. We're also going to use about a teaspoon of guajilla pepper. A teeny tiny bit of cinnamon. Definitely do not overdo it with the cinnamon. Just a little bit. Generous amount of salt, obviously. And then last but certainly not least, we're going to add some diced chipotle peppers to it. And look, listen, guys. I'll put chipotle on anything. I don't care what it is. I would eat a chipotle candy bar if they made it. So we're gonna let that finish cooking, let the spices do their thing, give it a little taste test, and if it needs something, then add something. All right, time for a little taste test. It smells fantastic. All right, definitely a little bit more salt. A little more smoked paprika, just to get the point across. And I'm also going to add a little bit more of the chipotle peppers because, yo, that's good. I love that stuff so much. Um, and I'm going to add some garlic powder. I just make this shit up as I go, you know? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a chef. I'm just a dude who cooks food on the internet, and I enjoy it. And sometimes it's pretty good. So the meat is done, it smells great, it tastes great. Next step is the cheese, and then we just roll them and toss them in the oven. I decided not to fry them because it's kind of a pain in the ass to fry stuff, and it works out really well in the oven. All right, we got our meat and cheese all mixed up. You can put as much or as little as you want. Just don't overcrowd it, or else you'll end up with like a chimichanga instead of a taquito. And we're just lining them up here in this cast iron pan. Bake in whatever you want. I just happen to have a cast iron laying around, so why not do that? And when you put them down, make sure they're like flap side down. Otherwise, they'll just roll and it'll be a whole mess. Now we're just going to hit them with some butter and salt. If you have one of these, it comes in handy. And by the way, it took me 15 minutes to find this thing. Like, look at the size of my kitchen. I don't know how I, I just, I misplaced stuff. It drives me nuts. We have some melted butter here. Da, da, da. You know, stuff like this, it's the minor touches. You know, you could have just tossed them in the oven. But just by taking this step, it's going to be a little bit better. Now we're going to pop these in the oven for about 20-ish minutes until it gets nice and crunchy but isn't burned. Then we're just going to hit them with a the garnish and eat these guys, all right? I'll see you in a second. All right, so just a little trick. If you take sour cream and you put it in a saran wrap or a little bag, what you can do is make it look really fancy. Just going to poke a hole in it. Then we can actually do like a little drizzle here. Are you going to cooperate? Yeah, look at that, man. That looks cool. I hit it with some cilantro. Who wouldn't eat that, man? Come on, son. Bam! Taquitos. Done deal. We did it, y'all. And I'm stoked because these things look amazing. I mean, look at that. 
Come on. I'm so excited to eat these. Did not take long to make. Wasn't difficult. No frying, no nothing. So if you're looking for, you know, something to make for your friends when they come over or just something to eat for the hell of it, then uh, definitely try these out because these are about to be good. Let's give it a try. Crunchy. Salty. Meaty. Cheesy. The sour cream gives it a little tang. The cilantro is fresh. Oh, come on, man. If you happen to be watching this from Boston, then you probably understand that if you live in Southie, you have to deal with drunk people walking around your house. I had to take another bite of this. Not much else you could ask for. You know, I mean, it's a really cheap, fun thing to make, and uh, you should definitely give it a try, right? If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, subscribe to my channel, and I'll keep cooking stuff.